Hey everybody, it's your girl Notch, aka Air Fryer Bay, and sis is back with another video. No, we're not gonna be using our air fryer today, but I'm gonna show you how I made these delicious, oh so tasty, collard green lettuce wraps. Like sis been trying to cut down on the bread because bread is my weakness. Comment down below if bread is your weakness too. Like, oh my God. So in an effort, like I said, to cut down on the bread, I've been using other alternatives. And so that's where the collard green lettuce wraps come in. So if you want to know how I made these delicious sandwiches, then y'all know what to do. <laughs> Stay tuned. So the first thing that you're going to need is some uh, collard green leaves. So I got these from my local shop, right? So of course we're not uh, taking these literally from the dirt to our table. Uh, <laughs> these have to be cleaned off. So that's what I'm going to do off camera. I don't think y'all want to see me do that. So I'm going to clean these off and then get ready for the next step. Right, so now that our collard greens are nice and clean now what we have to do is call blanch them and what that means is we're going to drop them in this really um hot boiling water swivel them around for about 10 15 seconds just so they can soften them up so that you know you can use them as wraps because otherwise they'll be a little tough okay <laughs> after you do that then you're going to transfer them into a container with some ice water uh, for about another 15 seconds and then you're going to drop them off and then you'll be ready to make your wraps Okay, so watch me do this here. Okay. All right. Um, the first time I did them all at one time But because I'm showing y'all what to do, I'm going to show y'all one at a time Okay, so I'm going to swivel that around Make sure you get the front and the back and you see they're already softening up. It really doesn't take a long time all right, so turn it over, turn it over again, turn it over again, and now we're going to take it out, and then we're going to drop it in this cold water, okay? All right, so follow me again. I'm going to take one collard green leaf. Right, make sure it gets saturated completely. Then you want to flip it over, do the same thing, flip it over again, and being gentle because now that they're soft, you don't want them to you know rip up on you. Okay, all right, and then you know, swivel them around if you want, but again, being gentle. All right, now we're going to take it out and put it in our, you know, ice mixture. You can swivel them around, put the ice cubes on them. All right. All right, let me move this container here so I can make more room because the next step, we're going to take this out and we're going to lay it flat so that it can dry okay so there we have it 
All right, I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Oh. Well, I'll fix it because right now I'm only working with one hand. So, and the camera is crooked right now, but y'all get the idea. So I'm gonna go on and finish up the rest and I'll be back when it's time to wrap. All right guys, so in this step, we're getting ready to start layering our collard green lettuce wrap. So I'm gonna put olive oil on one and then I also have this uh, Lantana Sriracha Carrot Hummus on the other. And I'm following the same method that I used the other day, okay? And there we go, a little bit on that one but again you can use whatever you like okay just gonna slide that well not slide it but slather that over oh Also forgot my mustard. Okay, let me get a. All right. Okay. And again, you can use as much or as little as you like. I love a tangy sandwich, so or a wrap. So that's what we're gonna go for. Okay. Now let me get the meat and my cheese. All right, so I went to my local deli and I got some barbecue chicken breasts. I also got some Havarti cheese from Black Bear. I also got some Wex Irish cheddar, cheddar and I got some butterball low salt turkey. So I'm gonna just layer these in any way and keep in mind, I'm making four of these, so I'm making these two because that's all I got the space for. All right. All right. But I'm again, on camera, I'm going to show you these two. And then I'll wrap them up. And then I'll come back with the final, you know, look for everything. So that's a slice of... That chatter. All right, now we're gonna do the barbecue chicken. It ripped up, so I had to eat that one. Too. And on this one, I'm going to put Havarti. It ripped, but it's okay. I to eat while you work, cause child, I am hungry. It is past my lunch time. <laughs> All right. So now, oh, I gotta get my um, what you call them things? I gotta get my toothpicks. You're gonna need toothpicks because. You're gonna stick your olives in them. All right, let me get my knife. All right, so mines aren't super neat, but this is basically what I did, okay? Stick a little toothpick. I was supposed to get the toothpick first, but whatever. So this is what we gonna do. <laughs> All right, so we gonna take that out and put that one in. There we go. All right, it's cute, right? Look at the little sandwich wrap. <laughs> All 
right. All right, so let's wrap this one up. And again, all right, you're going to roll that. All right, let me get the olives. And there it is. And of course, I was, wait, you know what? I was supposed to, uh, oh, well, I got to eat this one. Because I was supposed to cut it. There we go. All right, so now let's do another olive. And another olive. There we have it. So I'm gonna cut this, make the other two, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so here is the final plate. Don't that look good, y'all? Since I swapped out the bread, I went and got me some 100 calorie, um, what you call these things? Uh, pretzels. They're by Snyder's, not sponsored, but Snyder's. Good to know your girl, okay? I got me some bread and butter pickles. And as you can see, I went and um, cr um, created the rest of the wraps. I didn't cut them because y'all, they tried to stunt on me for the gram. Like, they really just tore up on the bottom. But it's okay. They're good enough for the pictures. Um, <laughs> I also added some carrots for more vegetables. And here's my beautiful salad. So, yeah. Can't say Air Fryer Bay has done it again. So, today, I'm going to just be Salad Bay and Rat Bay. Okay? She has done it again. See you in the next one. Bye.